I want to talk a little bit about how faculty um, can engage around students. And, and I want to particularly talk about how white faculty can engage in supporting our students, because um, I do a number of webinars, um, you know, and keynotes and things with um, you know, at predominantly white institutions that, that are increasing their people of color populations. Um, because, you know, white faculty very often feel like if they step into, you know, some of this racial discourse that they're going to make a mistake. And they worry that they're going to um, be inappropriate and maybe microaggress or um, engage in more behavior that's going to make students uncomfortable. And so what they may take as a protective strategy is just to kind of withdraw from the fray and just say, I have to get through this material, I just have to teach social psychology, or I just have to teach, you know, chemistry, or I just have to teach whatever my topic is, without really acknowledging and addressing the students that are in front of them. And I want to say that um, as a academic administrator, one of my um, responsibilities is to make sure that my faculty, all faculty, regardless of their, um, you know, their self-identity, -identi are prepared to step into classrooms where they are going to need to be the first point of contact for students of color. When students, when students walk into a classroom in any institution, what they see is their faculty. And to them, that faculty is the institution. And so we need to partner with the faculty to really make sure that they're prepared. So for example, yesterday here at my campus, we, um, we had a seminar uh, called Levering Critical Race, Leveraging Critical Race Theory to foster racial justice in higher education, which was, was presented by Dr. Terrell Norton, who's the um, assistant professor of identity and justice in STEM education at the University of Missouri. And, um, you know, it was a, it was a post COVID faculty development day, teaching and learning day for faculty to come that provided our faculty with a safe space to explore um how they are going to welcome students who are experiencing multiple traumas back into the classroom and what kinds of strategies they could put in place to make sure that these students feel like they can continue in a positive teaching and learning environment in partnership with us and the faculty so i think academic administrators who are listening that's the kind of thing we need to do very consciously we need to devote resources to preparing our faculty including our white faculty to welcome these students back in very in very conscious and spoken out loud ways